What is going on everybody? Enzo here and today we are going to start on some Matter Lords. So if you guys haven't noticed, I have been playing games that have a very specific theme to it. I just started playing war games recently and now I am starting a new playthrough which is Matter Lords, which means you'll be seeing some alternate uploads on this channel for but they're all going to be mostly medieval based content just because I kind of enjoyed the mid of the medieval ages and sort of just the general setting around it. So I've been playing a lot of Age of Empires, playing a lot of those games that really, really takes place in that era of of history. So we are going to explore this new one. I heard a lot of good things about it. I think what I found most impressive about this game was the fact that it was made by a solo developer, which I thought was really, really cool. So I can't wait to jump into it and see what we can explore. I haven't watched too much gameplay of this. So I am going to be going in in a bit of a blind playthrough. So let's go ahead and see what's up. Wow, this is a lot of customizations for this game. And it already looks amazing. Okay, so I'm thinking we go with this. I don't like this one, to be honest. I want a cross. How can I change the... Oh, I like how you can even like... Oh, it's the different fields. Okay, I see. Let me see how what I can do here. I think a black coat of arms with a primary gray looks pretty cool. Almost looks like zebra stripes, to be honest. Um, What else do we got here? We change this... I feel like I can spend all... Okay, I like the black and yellow. Really reminds me of Nilfgaard. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick with that. So for those who aren't familiar, Nilfgaard is from The Witcher 3. Very cool faction. I might actually maintain that theme of the blue... Of the black and the yellow. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and do that. Secondary color will be black. Can I change the look of it? Yeah, okay, I can. Okay, awesome. See, I don't want to have too much fancy... Hmm, speaking of fancy. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but honestly, it looks pretty simple and straightforward, and I think we take it. Uh, for Field C, I think we'll do Checkered, and I think we're going to steal the colors of the other side and I think this one we make it into a do I go with another animal representation or do I go with another cross I think I go with another cross so let's go ahead and do that real quick and then the bottom one I do like the idea of the bird I am going to make it yellow though, kind of like a rooster. And primary color of this will be yellow. Nope, that looks nasty. We will go with black. Mm. We'll go with black and then secondary color will be gray. Or maybe white. Now that really stands out. I want to know what field ace was. Okay, I think this looks good. I'm going to go with this. Um, name, we're gonna go with, well, Fried, I guess that's the, uh, basic name, isn't it? This guy looks like Dijkstra. He actually looks like Dijkstra. But, if I were to represent myself and how I would look as a manor lord, I think I would actually go with him. A little younger, a little ambitious, that's what I'm, kind of the vibe that I'm going for. We are gonna call him... Novus, because that, to me, sounds like a very, very cool name. Oh, I can change the scale? Wait, that's awesome. I don't think I plan to, though. I feel like this is a lot of... Hmm, actually, 2.4. You know what? I like that. I think I'll keep that. That's very cool. That also looks very cool. 
Yeah, there we go. Heck yeah. The black one, the bottom one seems kind of empty. Is there anything we can add to it to make it like look cool? Hmm. I don't really like that, to be honest. Now that looks nice. I don't think yellow cuts it. Actually, I don't even think we should have a background for the bottom. I think we keep it like this. You know, let's keep it like this. Go with Novus, coat of arms. I think we continue. All right. Let's go with challenging. AI lords may press claims towards the player regions at will. Oh, that sounds tough. Eliminate all other lords by claiming their territory. Adds an AI opponent located off the map. Raider frequency. No more than a single raid every two years. Possibly less than a year between each raid. We can go with we can go with medium. Uh, yeah, we'll start with the spring. We'll do one year after random bend. I honestly I have no rise to prosperity. We're storing the peace on the edge. You know what, we'll start with default for now, just because I don't kind of, I don't really know what to expect from this game. So let's kind of keep the basics and let's just begin. I'm actually very excited to jump into it to see what kind of game this is going to be. Okay, so what are we working with? Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. What a claim, once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. Alright, so what can we do? In Manor Lords, families need fuel and fuel, fuel and food and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel shows about uh, shows above how much you have got left. Okay. So these are all of our looks like our resources. Summer's coming soon. Same. Summer's coming soon indeed. Let's upgrade this real quick. Okay, so here we can construct. Timber requires oxygen, oxen to be moved. Okay. Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. Okay. Fertility here looks pretty good. To get more population, you need to have enough empty burgage plots and your approval needs to be over 50%. What's my 50? Oh, right now it's at 50%? Okay, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and build a forester's hut. Can I not build a house? Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. Oh my goodness, this is... Not gonna lie, kinda complicated. Oh, I'm starting to get a little complicated. Alright, go here. Here. Uh, here. Oh boy, no, that looks weird. No, I don't want to do it like that. This, this. Plot too small. How big does the plot need to be? Like that. Hmm. Uh, to make it even bigger, I guess. Yeah, there we go. In almost all cases, resources and manor lords have to be physically moved. If you take a moment, oh, okay. So feel free to change the game speed if you feel like it. All right, cool. I want to see what's around me. Okay, so this is my region so far. I have a pretty big little plot. Looks like there are other lords kind of around. You're about to run out of timber and block yourself. Make sure you have a logging camp. Okay. Wait. Oh, I was like, where the heck am I? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take that. Take the tutorial's advice. And workers fell nearby trees. So let's go ahead and build one right about here. Uh, 
So it looks like with with just house plots, we would have to... We can decide how big they are. I guess it also determines how many families can fit under it. But all like construction buildings... Uh, looks like they have their own sort of predetermined space, which is totally fine. Hmm. Can I rotate the camera? No, I cannot. Well, there might be a way, but I actually don't know how. Some workplaces allows villagers to use handcarts to transport 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off-road is extremely slow, so make sure you connect your buildings to roads. Okay. Well, we're going to have one here, so we can connect it to the main square. Like, something like that, maybe? I'm gonna be 100% honest. I am not the best at city building games. Like, I don't have a good vision of, like, architectural designs. If I'm being 100% honest. But. You know, we learn. We live and we learn. Okay, we still have supplies here we can use. Okay, I like that we can go in and kind of get a closer look. We're gaining population. Okay. Oh, I guess it's because we're increasing our living space. Homeless homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check their items. Amenities. Construct a backyard extension. Oh, boy. I might leave that for the time being. Also, construction priority is medium. Is this guy looking... Oh, I guess we're, they're building the other plot first. Okay, that's that's totally fine. New message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you would not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebolt von Berenroot. You have no right, no rightful claim to sell bits. Oh, boy. Is this the only thing I can drop? Um, that's rhetoric. Oh, I need funds. Okay, I guess I'll go with this one, eh? It's the only paragraph I can really drop, so... This view shows you which regions are under whose control. You can press claims to other regions when you gain enough influence. Which one is... Is this one? No, this one's... Oh, I control this region. Okay, cool. Oh, crap. I didn't want to skip future tutorials. Wait, that's actually bad. Hold on. Can I change that? There we go. I'm not familiar enough with this game to be able to skip tutorials. What's in here? Oh, wild animals? This is an iron deposit. Wait. Oh, I'm in here. Okay. Oh, there I am. Jeez, I can't tell. This is a very, very interesting game so far. Is there anything else we can build while we wait? We have a logging camp. We don't have a woodcutter's lodge yet, do we? How do I rotate? Rotate looks like it's the... Oh, it's holding it. Okay. Um, we will go this way. Because we want to go towards the trees, right? I hope. I hope that's how that works. Is there any... Are there any other deposits we can probably look to access? This is clay. This is stone. Homelessness, these people wait for more burgage plots, causes a loss of approval, and possibly of freezing in the winters. Homeless cannot be part of a militia unit either. Okay. I mean, we're just about finished building this place anyway, so hopefully it'll get us more civilians in so that we can start building other needs. 
Also, we're gonna have to look into a way to get some food as well. So, what can we do for that? A forager hut? Okay, so, we got those, which is pretty good. Huh, interesting. There's no materials for food up here, huh? Do we have exposed? Oh, these are exposed goods. Okay, so we'll want to put them inside of a granary. Farmhouse, a field, sheep farm, windmill. Water on earth holds... Where the heck's the granary? Oh, one of these? Oh, well, we need more wood, so... So far, it's, it's a pretty interesting game. I don't actually quite know what to make of it yet. But then again, not much action has happened so far, though, so... In all honesty, anything can really happen. Produce firewood. Workers fell nearby trees to produce timber. Do we need to we need do we need this yet? Yeah, I don't think we need firewood just yet actually. It might be a little bit too early for that. For right now, I kind of want to prioritize Oh, we can create new units. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units, then they will try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit's type, while the maximum quality of body armor and the helmet depends on the villager's residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Oh, I see. I like how the closer we zoom in, the more realistic it looks, but then when we zoom out, it's like, they're very tiny. So I really like the, um, I kind of like the way that the game zooms in and out to make it more realistic when it's closer. And then when you zoom it out, it's like, like, this looks like a completely different POV of a game than like this. Like most other games that have this feature, typically when they zoom in, it doesn't get this detailed. And when they zoom out, like, it's more or less something similar to this, but I'm really impressed with how they managed to... to be able to really optimize this, so I'm really impressed by that. Doing some, uh... some review, you know, in the meanwhile. I think, also, we can start building that granary as well. Communal oven, windmill... Wait, do I only have one piece of wood? Okay, that's fine. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. While human workforce has to be assigned, by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workspace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have construction going on. Hmm, how many... How do I know how much... Oh, I have 15 fam... No, I have 5 level 1 families. Okay. Whoa, this goes really into detail. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I do want to start with some wood production, so... I'd imagine nearby communities if there even are any can uh see and see the smoke fire okay so it looks like there are already roads here that are already connected so we could we should actually use those to our advantage instead of trying to make our own roads so it might have been also helpful to kind of build something around here as well we also have some stone deposits nearby as well as some clay We've got plenty of trees I saw wild animals earlier, but I don't remember where they are. I think they're... Oh, they might be in enemy territory, actually. 
Oh, no, there's wild animals right here. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, so I could plant... Mm, what was it again? It was a... Not a farmhouse. Gathering. Could be a hunt. Actually, it could be a hunting camp. I could put a hunting camp, like, right here. But not yet. We're gonna focus on that a little bit later. I'm um, still at one timber. What is everyone doing at the moment? Debranching a tree. Okay, lots of people are deban debranching trees. Uh, it's also possible to make this game go faster, is it not? Although I'm afraid if I do, I may miss something. Okay, great. I got the wood. Cool. So, with that being said, I am going to place myself some... A granary. Hmm. Oh, whoops. I'll probably have the granary... I want it near an open field, right? That only makes sense, doesn't it? So, I'll place it, like, right here maybe uh maybe not i do want to eventually connect to a road though so i might just do it around here there we go i still have 10 stones so i still have... okay they're wow they're really building up on the wood production okay that's good Hack station. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Okay, so I don't have another region in my command, so I can't really do that yet. Storehouse. Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using generic storage. If they need it, they can automatically set up stalls in a marketplace. Okay, I don't think I need that yet. Assigned families become permanent ox guides, which speeds up logistics. Okay, I like the idea of the logistics because speeding up will allow construction to happen much faster, which I think is pretty nice. So we'll have one built like literally right here. I want it as close to production as much as I can. Although, honestly, I don't even know if that's going to make much of a difference. What else can we build? We can build settlers camp. We have money. We have 50 coins. I don't think I have enough for this. Oh, it has to be in a non-settled region. Okay. Stonecutter camp. Okay, well, we could start... Actually, we could start with the production of stone. Although, this is kind of far, which means I'll need to build roads connecting it. Just wondering how I'm going to go about that. Because I can build a road from here to here. Just to kind of speed up the, you know, process. I could build roads from here to here. I may have to actually do that, don't I? We'll build it along this. So this granary should just be about finished with being built. Roads we can build more of. Let's go roads from here to... Like this. So, we have 16 food, 19 fuel, 26 construction. Okay. Can we build more roads? Oh, we can. Absolutely, we can. And one more from here to here. Is this necessary? I honestly have no idea if this is necessary. But am I going to do it? Absolutely. Because it looks cool. And that's the only reason I'm doing it. Hmm, I wonder if we need more families. 
Low population growth, neutral approval. Can I expand on this? Vegetable garden. Yields eggs. Now eggs sounds enticing. Unassigned families needed for construction work from a hitching post. Oh, wait. Oh, because I've already assigned a family. Hold on. Let me unassign. So I have one unassigned family. Okay. Maybe I'll remove unassigned families here. Family requests more market area for their stall. Market area? What does that mean? I actually don't quite know what that means, to be honest. Do they want an actual market to be built? We have a tavern, we have a wooden church, we have a marketplace. Oh, I guess that's what they mean, huh? So we'll do this. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically, as long as there's enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to check your supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. Well, these guys are pretty far, to be honest, but I mean, it's fine. Did I not just build that market? What the heck's going on? Okay, so it is being built. Cool. Hans... Endline Ott. It's an interesting name. Construction finish, food stall. Okay, awesome. Oh, I see. I just built plot. And it just so happens to have enough. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand how that works. So, it's good. What else do we want? Gather supplies, hitching post, order another ox, order a horse. Okay, do we have the stone quarries on the works? Okay, it's under construction at the moment. What else do we need now? A mining pit used to extract iron ore from iron deposits or clay. Stone cutter camp. Workers gather stone from nearby fields. Oh wait, I already made a stone cutter camp, so I don't need another one. We built a store. Have we built a storehouse? Wait, I'm pretty sure we have, right? That's a granary. That's a logging camp. Those are burgage plots. We have not built a storehouse yet. Okay, that is good to know. We will put our storehouse. I want to put it here, but. New stuff, supplies. Let's actually put it right here. I feel like it's more convenient considering that the market's right there. And if we have any extra goods, we can put it right here. Alright, so far I think we have a decent foundation of our city. I also just want to check any surrounding areas. Yeah, what is this? Okay, berry deposits are here. Iron deposits are here. We have clay here that we can use. And stone. Okay, so far... So far, we have a decent foundation. So I'm liking what we're looking at so far. All right, I think I'm gonna, I'm think I'm gonna end the first episode here of Manor Lords. This game honestly looks really, really nice so far, and I can't wait to see what, um, what more it has to offer. 
So if you guys like this game or if you have any pointers on some tips on how to play this game kind of effectively and efficiently, let me know in the comment section below. City builder games, at least in terms of design, I'm pretty bad at, but hopefully we can build on that and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more content similar to this, I like exploring the games that sort of cover the medieval era, Middle Ages, Renaissance, even the Greek Ages, you know, all, a lot of variety of stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see more games like that, or if you have any suggestions on what games you'd like to see me check out, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, this is Enzo signing out, and I'll see you all in the next.